doctrine. That's Pentecostal. There's something about Pentecostal that they believe in holiness. That's right, Pastor. That's right. Okay. <laughs> you don't got to shout process it if you want. Amen. <laughs> we believe in the life of holiness. We believe that that's what we should be. And that's what uh, we should ascertain. And that's what we uh, uh, um, should have in our lives. Constantly, consistently. That should be the, the, the ruler. That should be uh, the norm. Amen. Amen. The sin part should be the abnormal. The sin part should be the strange. Let me think we could uh, put that in the cover it. Just to cover it. We haven't um, got the, the money to, to get the, um, the electrical point uh, installed. We're halfway there. Amen. <laughs> oh, glory to God. All cabins, don't worry about it, because it'll take me one second. I'm used to ringing stuff. <laughs> Holiness is 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 key. It's issue. Uh, I heard a preacher say that most of the time when we fall into unholy works is because we're bored. Meditate, say la. Meditate, say la. Meditate. Because we're bored. And I don't mind. I don't mind. It's the devil's workshop. Give you something to do. Amen. Amen. What happened to David? He was what? Bored. Yeah. He was bored and peeping. Watch when you're bored, you might go to peeping. You know what I mean? Hello? He was idle. He was idle. He should have been where? Fighting. Fighting with his mess. Where would she be? They were fighting. It was the time of what? War. Time of war. And he's pleasure seeking. I don't have devil's workshop. We're looking at sanctification. We're looking at, uh, uh, I guess, the second page from the last. Second page from the last, number nine. And on the, we're in the, the second portion of, of in the, the second paragraph from the top. And it speaks again. It's sanctification is realized in the believer. By recognizing his identification with Christ in his death and resurrection. You're sanctified because you place your trust in Jesus Christ and you have you have connected with him and he has received the second page from the back. From the back. That's the only way I can identify it from the bottom. Um, Sanctification is when you connect with him and he imparts to you his name. But at the same time, um, the second uh, part of that sentence says, And by the faith, reckoning daily upon the fact of that union, okay, because we're hooked up with him or we're with him, and by offering every faculty continually to the dominion of the Holy Ghost. We give ourselves for the Holy Spirit to lead us. We put our trust in Him. We're united with Christ. And then we continually call on the Holy Ghost to help us in those areas where we may need help. You know, to walk right. Uh, if, if there's an area in your life where if I touch it, it hurts. It hurts. You're not whole. Then um, you gotta ask the Holy Spirit, why am I hurting in that area? Why? Why is it just so wrong in that area? Why is there not healing in that area? Why there's not help in that area? And the Holy Spirit will speak to you. He's here to guide us to to a holy walk. I don't know about you, but sometimes I just feel like so stupid when the devil ruins my day. You don't gotta be sin, it's be stupidity. Yeah. Amen. And it just gotta be out there, ah, you could just say something stupid. And you say, man, take my foot out of my mouth. Why just sin? Remember, sin is not mixed, it's not hitting the bullseye. You can be a little off, but you're off. Nothing works when it's a little off, amen. I don't know why you about to take a little while to do my hair so it can be just right. <laughs> 
I don't even like being a little off with the hitter. You know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? You know, something about it. Not Mark, I mean, but I saw a guy yesterday, the barber. I mean, they had that, that guy had the barber crazy. He had a lot of hair, and he wanted a mohawk, but he wanted it just right. And man, I mean, after the barber cut it, he took the, the mirror, the big one that shows you the back, and he looked on the side and the back, and he said, you see that one hair? <laughs> and then he looked in the front, and he said, I, I, I just not. <laughs> I said, dude, man, I'll pay you to get out. <laughs> it had issue. He don't mean that he got and I'm not even a barber and he had me crazy. Man. Yeah. He'll do it to you. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's got to be right. And the things of God, it's got to be right. Why are we so wrong? Why, I don't know. Sometimes we, sometimes we want right for other things and not God. But if you want to feel right, you got to be right. You got to be right. And we, we were looking at, uh, uh, we did Romans 6, 1 through 11. Romans 6, 13 says what? Romans 6, 13. 6, 13. Yeah, Romans 6, 13. In English, please. <laughs> Romans 6, 13. Never yield you, your members, that is, Instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God. What does that yield? Yield. Be cautious. Slow down. What does that mean? Sin away in a way like, or like bow down yeah. or like yeah. submit. Submit. Down. Submit. Yes. submit. Slow down, good, submit. Yeah. When you yield, you're giving. Really, uh, when you yield, you give it allow right. somebody else to go by, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah like give yeah. it right away. Yeah. And it says, do not yield you, your members, everything, your mind, body, soul, and spirit, to sin. Right? That's what it says? Yes. yes. That's what it says, sin? Yes. That's what I believe you said, right? Yeah, yes. not to sin. Yeah. It's an instrument, even worse, unrighteousness. It says, do not yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness. Instrument of that would I mean I mean if it's right, it's right. Come on guys. If it's wrong, it's wrong. You can be talking and can be wrong. You can be listening, can be wrong. I'll tell you, so many people are taken out of God's way because they listen to the wrong Christian. They're listening to the wrong Christian. They're listening to a carnal, complacent, worldly, materialistic, self-willed, selfish Christian. Tell you, tell me yesterday about a Christian walking around with a little shorts, Daisy Duke, where the butt cheeks out. And then we sit there and allow this person to talk to other people that are trying to walk with God. I don't believe in Christian. I'm, I'm here to tell you, I don't believe in Christian women with their butt cheeks out with a little Daisy Duke. You are carnal, you are worldly, you're in sin. Can I go on record here? Yeah. And I'm going to lose the rest of the church, I'm going to go off swinging. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, I cannot have Christians. Oh, it's beach weather, Pastor. It's hot, Pastor. So I put my Daisy Duke and I'm gonna wear my little my little my, 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 my little bathing suit. It's a one piece, but we can see your triangle that that triangle should be saved for your husband only. I don't need to see a little triangle. Am I correct? Right. Somebody help me. Should I be watching, you know, triangles? Should I see Candy's triangle? <laughs> Should I see uh, Sister Blanco's butt? No. I'm just, I just want to be, because it's Christianity. It's, it's, they're giving up their members to unrighteousness. Right. Modestly, right? The word modesty, not to draw the eye. Look it up in the original Greek if you want to. Mm -hmm. Not to draw the eye beyond what is acceptable. And to provoke your brother and sister to sin. The guys too, they walk around with a little thing. 
Don't, Lord, Lord forbid they have a six pack. What's that movie star that every every in every movie he's got to be without his shirt? He's a black American guy. Is that Ice T or LL Cool J? I think it was LL Cool J, right? What was it, man? Which one was it? There's a lot of black no, guys. He's, older. Exactly. he's an older guy. But him, his attitude is. is he's always short. No, no, he's not that old. He's a LL. LL Cool J. Look at him. Look at him. He's always taking off his shirt. In every movie, in every. He's got his shirt off. Lord forgive that God gives us a little beauty. Because we got to use that for unrighteousness. We got to use that. Lord forbid God gives us a shame. Lord forbid that God gives us a breast. I got to put the shirt down here. <laughs> if I got a chest or I got a breast, I got to... Yeah. It's hot, Pastor. Gotta show it. <laughs> Lord forbid, we got to make it... We want to be sexy. We don't want to be spiritual. Yeah. We don't want to be powerful. We don't want to be holy. We want to be sexy. What's wrong with being that? It's not wrong with being in that. In its right place. That's right. There you go. But if you want pastor to think you're sexy, something wrong with you. <laughs> you're my daughter, you're my sister, and if you're held that way, you're my brother. Nobody got it. Hallelujah! I got it. 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 All right. Join the... Yeah, yeah. Remember Tom? Tom used to walk around with guns. Oh, the fuck! Yeah. <laughs> 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 first came to us. <laughs>
we've done. Huh? That, how much would, would lie? Surrender your members to unrighteousness. Would you lie? Would you lie? Or would you get fired? Or you, okay. Would you lie, Rolly? Really? Would you lie, Sister Blanco? You just lied. You said you did something. They did something when they didn't. A procedure that they didn't do it. Would you lie to keep your job? You can't prove that they're making you lie and you're going to lose your job. Will you lie? I tell them is that they always, uh, my boss always asks me to have the mechanic sign the paper for parts that they never got. And I tell them, look, he has me doing this. I tell them straight out, look, if you ain't got it, you take it up with him. He just wants me to, look, boom, boom, boom. I know you didn't get it, and I know the situation. If you didn't get it, you go talk to your manager, you tell him about it. That's it. He just told me to tell you to do the, to, to, to ask you to sign for this, even though you never got the part. I'll but tell you're, him. You're not putting your name on that. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm not. That's I, I told him. Yeah, I told him. Asking, he's asking him to lie. Yeah. Not yeah. you. Yeah. But, I have, but I have to have him sign the paper, though. I have to have the, the crew chief sign you, the you paper. You give him the message yeah. that your boss says to lie. Basically, yeah. yeah. That's, they know it. And that, they know that's, it. That's, that's even close enough that you're saying, I'm not even comfortable with this. You know, because that's, that's the spirit of righteousness. Yeah. You don't even feel comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Imagine they telling you to lie. You know, I. They wouldn't even dare to come to me and tell me that. Some people they won't even try. Say this ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. Don't even go there. <laughs> you know, when you go out on a date, booby. Is it okay to, to suck face for two hours? Yes. <laughs> 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 Son, 16 and a half, bro. Yeah, that's why I can tell you guys. 
Man, you know, the, the best way to do the holy way is God's way. And, and your, your mind, your emotions, your very psyche will be pure. You get in the nasty and the crazy. I mean, some crazy stuff can happen, man. I mean, yes, sir, did you sin with that girl? Well, not then. I sin later. Oh, there's a hush here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me about this. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know these verses. These verses said, do not surrender, not yield, do not get place. Yeah. You know, we get place a lot of stuff. We let it come just right in. Go by and boom, when you jump on the bus. So short. And then they see the front yeah. and the front. And they see the front. And the preacher is preaching. And one, one side and one side. And one side and one side. And then they cross the leg. And then they cross the leg. And then they cross the leg. And the preacher said, listen girls. These are men here. This is just not, they're not angels. These are uh, men. They're men. They're not angels. Oh, like that. Yeah. They're men. They're hey, these are men. So you better, you know. I like that. She said they're men. They're not angels. Not angels. So you have a choice, guys, to yield yourself to God uh, as instruments of righteousness or yield yourself as instrument of unrighteousness. Yield yourself to God of righteousness or yield yourself to unrighteousness. They just come in here taking over the church. Man, please. <laughs> You know, it's up to you. You, you got to have the Holy Spirit dominate that area. You got to have the Holy Spirit dominate that area. You know, other religions, they don't have a problem with living worldly. You know, drinking. And they'll use the verses, Jesus made wine. When you get a chance, study that word wine. Old Testament, New Testament, there's three types of wine. There's three types of wine. There's the wine which is juice, which is a, the best juice there is. There's wine that's a syrup, syrup. And then there's uh, uh, the wine that we consider non-alcoholic and alcoholic. If you need that study, if you need that that whole uh, um, uh, article, I will gladly give it to you so you can do the whole research. You know. Because a lot of people got a problem. I give you the whole in English and in Spanish. I got both, just in case. And I got a lot of people. Really, the good Jesus made wine, and it's okay to drink. You know, wine also in the Bible is interpreted as beer, rum, and wine. That word is translated beer. The beer that that, that tongue. You know, not that light stuff, okay? If you want to drink beer, drink beer. Not that light stuff. It's like drinking non-alcoholic gin. <laughs> Not like the hollow rum, huh, Manny? What is that? That is that. I mean, come on, Tidoro. Hello. Quarry. <laughs> I mean, guys, you know, it's like drinking decaf, Margie. We're gonna have, we're gonna have coffee. Have coffee, okay? Anyway, you know. And so we have people that are that are giving up their members to alcohol because the Bible don't say don't drink. It doesn't say don't drink. Don't. Don't take poison either. It doesn't say don't do drugs either. But we got wisdom enough not to do it. Because we know it leads to, number one, you got a bad reputation. Oh, look at him. He's a, he's a pastor drinking wine. He's a bum. Because America equates alcohol to bum. Okay? Look at him. He's, he's getting flirty. Look at him. He's a pervert. He looked at me funny. Just because you drank, they're going to point you and say, look, he's getting fresh with me. If you wouldn't have drunk, they want to say he got fresh. But since he had one, he's getting fresh. Am I right? Yeah. The same thing you can comment on when you're not drunk, you can't comment on when you have one. Oh, watch him. Watch Now he's going to start a fight. Watch him. He's going to throw up. I mean, he's got so much negative stuff to it. I doubt that Jesus, Bible says, after they were well drunk, Jesus made more wine to finish them off. <laughs> Acabarlo. They just, they just, 
And you know what? Those that studied it, in that room, there's so many people fit in that room where the wedding was. And the pots were like this. They held 50 gallons. They had six pots, 300 gallons. If you do the math, everybody got four gallons of, of, of wine, wow. alcoholic wine, after they were well drunk. Yeah, that makes sense that Jesus, that came to destroy intoxication, will get them more drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me. That Jesus, man. He would do that, all right. No, I think he gave him the best. The best wine they say does not have alcohol. It is the best. You can't afford that wine. It's the best juice you can ever have and ever will have. You ever seen the, those juices that they sell now? That, that bottle costs you like 60 bucks and it's only juice? It's the best fruit juice there is? Yeah. You know, something like that. It is only juice. Holy people don't drink. Somebody God don't believe in drinkers. Amen, man. He said that's me. But somebody God do not believe in drinking. We don't believe sub submitting ourselves to um, um, tobacco products. We don't believe in illicit drugs. We don't believe in surrendering our men. The only thing, only thing we might do is eat. Amen. And we're trying to change that too. We're getting very wise about what we eat. We're watching our cholesterol, the salt intake, the sugar, the munchies. Uh, yeah, a lot of people like ah, ice cream, you know, we're, even caffeine, we're cutting that down. It took us a hundred years, but we're there now. Amen. We do a little exercise while we're watching television. <laughs> You, you, you got to watch yourself oh, in, in that computer, man. I tell you, ain't nothing worse than then you come in the room and somebody goes. <laughs> when you should be going. Because <laughs> he's watching. He's watching. And where's he going? What? What? I'm not doing nothing. And they hit the button. <laughs> you know what I'm doing when you hit the button? Freeze! Yeah. I'm down to walk out on Samuel. You want to up? Hey. What you doing? What do you mean? <laughs> I run right to the computer. <laughs> I just, I tell you, we've got a, we, the Bible says we're supposed to be holy. Pure. I mean, giving it to the Holy Spirit's dominion. And what we say. Sometimes we talk too much, man. Abundance of word, the Bible says there lacks not sin. You don't sin if you keep talking for them. You gotta have to shut up. A lot of times you gotta learn how to walk away from people that talk too much. Cause check it out. Write it down. I want you to take a pad where that person that loves to comment, like to talk, they're gonna trash talk somebody. They're gonna trash talk somebody. And you wanna ruin their hide? Listen, right now, let's pray for that person right now. Father, let it be. They will ruin their whole day when they like they'll, they'll never trash talk with you. Let's pray right now. Hallelujah. Father, with this person we're trash talking on. Hallelujah. We're yielding our members in their unrighteousness and we're gossiping and we're backbiting, we're hating. Quickly that person will never come around. Father, look at that. Right now we're bashing pastor. We're calling pastor everything. <laughs> We're throwing up on pastor. We're destroying his anointing and his efficiency in other people's lives. Because we don't like the way he checked us about our yeah. We'll ruin them both. We'll ruin them quick now. With the uh, <laughs> Okay. Guys, the Bible says that we're supposed to be holy. Holy. It's so sad sometimes that, that, that we lost that part of our Pentecostal roots. Other religions, they can be unholy and it's okay. But in Pentecostalism, they were the holiness people, right? It was a synonym to holiness. Not Pentecostal means, you know, they just run around the church. And they might be crazy. But holiness, we didn't go to parties. We didn't go to worldly friends' parties. My son, Sister Blanco, never, never. He tried to sneak off into a school party one day. I said, never. You got in there after school? Never! Are we going to be playing Christian music? No, we're going to be dropping it like it's hot. 
<laughs> and I got my son being influenced by that garbage. Come on. If I don't allow it in my house, why would I allow it in the school? Is something wrong with us? Are we just checked our brain up to know we're stupid? Because baby boy, he'll be ruined if you don't go to party, my son will not ruin. My big son right now, I gotta leave. He's he's getting his masters. That's it. He ain't ruined. He's a man of God. He ministers to other people. Beautiful wife, athlete, got money, boss where he works. I didn't ruin him. Little bit, little boy, you wanna go to a party? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's it. Marvin's getting out of the house. We're going to concentrate on you. You got a problem with that? Here's a suitcase. Guess the step. God bless. Get out of here. We don't go to Wally parties where they're drinking and getting high. We call Popo on them. They're getting too loud and trying to pray. Yeah. I'm going to tell you because I, apparently we lost that part of Pentecostalism. Mm hmm. He lost it. Then because he just allow everything, involved in anything. And we're called to be holy, separated, consecrated, dedicated, pure, and in God's service. Holy. Amen. How about you, man? Sometimes I get involved with stuff I shouldn't be. Yeah. I ruin the Holy Ghost. I ruin the anointing. I don't know what I did. What do I do? What do I say? What I allow, what I do, what I say, what I allow. I'm just, I'm just me. I don't know about you. You guys can just, you know, pray for pastor. He's a mess up. <laughs> I guess I'm going the pastor. I can tell. Amen. He's a mess up. Let's pray. We'll leave that. See, I take one verse and talk for an hour. Hallelujah. I got to learn from that guy. Father, we just come.